Hey guys, welcome back to Freedom in a Budget, and it's time for the weekly weigh-ins. Yay! Or not so much yay. So, this week, I had a total loss of zero pounds. I couldn't believe it, guys. I had such a great week, and I was so excited, and I got on the scale that morning, yesterday morning, and because I film these the day after my weigh-in. Um, so they're always a week behind from when you see them. So got on the scale yesterday morning and was down like the lowest I've been in a long time. And so I was super excited for my weigh-in and this and that. And then by the time that I got to my weigh-in, I got on the scale, zero weight loss, zero. So I'm still down 6.8 pounds total, which I'm happy about. Um, and I think that we're talking about goals and setting goals for the holidays and you know, it's your goal to um, Lose maintain or just gain a little bit and I think that my goal for the holidays is going to be just to maintain And not gain any weight in December because I've always put on weight in December um, but I Was really bummed about the zero weight loss. I was so excited about it in the morning when I was down so much, but I do weigh in after work so I have a 6.30 weigh-in, which all throughout the day, you're eating and whatnot. Um, so, and I asked her what the typical gain was from like waking up, you know, getting on the scale naked to, you know, at the end of the day. And she said four pounds, which is like exactly how much it was that I had gained. Um, but I was still shocked because every morning when, sorry if the mic just went crazy. Every morning when I get on the scale, I'm not that low. So I really thought it was going to be a, um, a lower number. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys struggle with this as well. Of uh, Just, you know, morning to afternoon. Who has night weigh-ins? Who has morning weigh-ins? Um, and if that's a struggle for you and how you kind of go about dealing with it. I tried not to drink too much extra water because I didn't want to be bloated from the water. Um, but I didn't have that much. I think I have, I have like a 16 ounce cup. I had three of those, so that's not too much. Um, so yeah, let me know guys what, what you struggle with. And, um, if you're finding the same thing with nightly weigh-ins and whatnot, um, I look to the only morning way and I have a Saturday mornings and Saturdays are tough for me. I babysit a lot on Saturdays. Um, and they're like 7:30 in the morning. So I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to change it, um, to a, to a Saturday way in, but I just need to learn how to go about dealing with that struggle. Um, so yeah, so my highs and lows, um, my goal was to track every single day and I think I tracked like five out of seven days, but the days that I didn't track, it was the same foods that I ate on the days that I did track. So I know I didn't go over for that. Um, my lows, I did have a work Christmas party, which they had tons of food, which I did indulge a little bit at that. Um, but wasn't, wasn't bad. They had like little slider cheeseburgers and some french fries and stuff. Um, but yeah, that was my week. So down zero pounds, total loss of 6.8. Um, so we'll see how we go into these next couple of weeks with Christmas coming. Um, and my grandma's Norwegian meatballs and yeah, we're going to see. So let me know about, you know, how you guys deal with the nightly weigh-ins and, um, just what your goal is for the holidays. Are you wanting to lose during the holidays, maintain, or just gain a couple pounds? So let me know down below in the comments and 